Hello, Carol Andy here again with another tutorial, this time on the Blackwork Run. And this can be done in either version 5 or version 6. Um, so uh, I'll take you straight to it. Now I've done this rather simplified little um, design here just so that I can show you all the options. Um, Blackwork Run works to join all your outlines together in one go. So it backtracks um, and goes around everything without having, it basically eliminates jump stitches. And what it allows you to do is to just go ahead and digitize all your outlines and then at the end hit the Blackwork Run and it works out the logical order of stitching for you. So you don't have to think about embedding your little outlines in other outlines and which one you should do first. You can digitize them in any order you like. Now we're looking at artistic view here but if I go to design view, just click off artistic view, you can see that the purple outline I had or blue outline I had has um, lots of jump stitches because we've got jump stitches right across here, down here, to the different circles and we've also got one from here to here and that's quite annoying you'd have to trim all those at the end. With Blackwork Run we can eliminate nearly all of those. Now you can use the Blackwork Run tool with the single outline stitch so if I select by colour we can see that they're all single outline stitches. You can use it with a single outline or you can use it with a triple outline, the back stitch, the stem stitch, the satin or the blanket. Now in version 6 it's all of those. Just check that you can use all of those by experimenting in version 5. I know you'll be at least able to use those four. Um, you can also use a combination. So if something's outlined in stem stitch then you can, and something else is in single, it doesn't matter. It will retain the integrity of the stitch. The one thing it doesn't retain though is colour. So if your outlines are in different colours, it will be affected by the object you choose first. And I'll just demonstrate that. So let's, well let's first just see how Blackwork, um, the Blackwork Run tool works. So if we go back, we've got all the outlines selected um, because they happen to be all the same colour. So let's just go straight to our Blackwork Run tool here, left click on it, and it will ask you down here to enter an entry point. You can decide where you want the Blackwork Run to start by just left clicking and it will automatically take place. Now I'm going to deselect so you can see that. You can see now we've only got these two short jump stitches here and another one here to get to the circles. The one that crossed over here is gone and those big long ugly ones are gone. Now depending on your type of your design, um, sometimes these little jump stitches here if the circle was closer are so short you wouldn't even need to trim them. And you can see also over here at the um, on the film strip how it's simplified. So there's your jump stitch from the center of the design because I've got it to auto start at the center of the design, jumping out to where I wanted it to start from, and then it stitches round. Let's just have a look at the slow redraw to see that happen. I'm going to pause the video and get the slow redraw up to the outline point. Okay, I've actually set the slow redraw to start at the beginning of the outline, so that's why you can't see the rest of the colours here, just a little bit of red here. Don't ask me how I found that, it was trial and error, but you can change the stitch range here, and I fiddled around till I got a start number that was fairly close to where the, perp the blue s outline started. Um, if you want to reset to include all the stitches again, you just click on this button here. So I'm just going to start the slow redraw, I'll slow it down a little bit for you. Okay, so here we go, there's the outline. And you can see that it's going backtracking and going around to do all the parts that are required. And 
back around the rectangle of the base and it's finished. So that's a much better outcome than the original outlines that were all over the place. Now I'm back at the design and I'm just going to back to artistic view because it is a little easier to see what I'm doing. Okay, now what would happen if some of these objects were a different colour? Uh, for instance the circles on the balloon here. So let's just go to our film strip and change it to show the individual objects. Ah, once we've done, I should just mention this now, once we've done the black work run it'll always be a solid object. You can't um, access it uh, as individual objects unless you straight away undo after you've done it or if you've saved the design and you're coming back to it later you will need to select the outline and click the break apart tool. Once you've done that then when you go to your individual objects you will have all your objects back again. Now let's just select the circles so holding down our shift key we can select all of those and let's change the colour to a gold. Okay, just so you can see it clearly. Now we've got three gold circles and we've got some blue outlines. We can still select all our outlines. Left click there, go down to the end of the outlines and hold down shift. Or if they're scattered throughout the design, use your control button and we can still apply the black work run. This time I selected the circles first and because I selected them first everything in the design will change to the colour of the circles in the outline as a result of the black work run. So we've just clicked on it there, we need to start our entry point. We can just click enter to use the default if we wish, which it's done. And now you can see the entire outline is the yellow because we chose the circles first. Had I chosen the outline of the box that was still blue first, then everything would have turned blue including the circles. So you just need to remember that. And the other thing I wanted to show you, so let's just break that apart again okay is if you have a combination of different stitch types so let's say um, the outside of the basket which is the rectangle was not a single outline but let's say a satin stitch there that's nice and obvious okay so can we still do it? Yes we can. So you can select all your objects, all your outline objects. They must be outline objects, it couldn't be a satin fill stitch, it would have to be a satin outline. Hold down that and click on black work run, put our entry point in and there we have it. They've all gone together as one. I hope that's explained the Blackwork Run to you. If you have any more questions about it don't hesitate to email me through my website and I'll try and answer them for you. If you want to be notified when this video, when I upload new videos click the yellow subscribe button and subscribe to me on YouTube or I'm now um, connected to Twitter too, so if you have a Twitter account you can follow me on Twitter and um, that way you'll get a tweet every time I upload a video if you don't want to set up a YouTube account. Thank you very much.